This is a 07 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, this vehicle has an issue uh, with the battery that dies after a couple days, sometimes overnight, come in the morning and it's very hard to start. Um, so the issue was the door actuator. I got a new one here today, the driver's side door actuator. This is different than the passenger side. It has different uh, function and different feature. Uh, there is a signal goes from this actuator to the body control module. It tells the can, tells the body control module that the door is open and ask the body control module to shut off the dash, the lights, and the radio, and probably some other features. So as you can see, the switch is on right now. <clears throat> and the every, all the accessories on. As soon as you turn the ignition off, you, st you can still see the radio is still on and the dash light is still on. Uh, however, as soon as you open the door, I'm gonna open the door here. As soon as you open the door, everything should shut off. Even all these lights here. Everything's supposed to sh shut off. As you can see, okay, this is the final step uh, when you turn the, your car off and then you open the door. And as you can see, the door is open. <coughs> However, uh, this is not always the case. Uh, this car is acting up. Sometimes you open the door and everything stays stays on while the ignition is off and off the vehicle. Okay, it stays like this on. And you go, you go home. You leave your your car. You think you, you turn your car off, uh, but it's not. The accessories are still on, and this is very much kills the battery. <laughs> so right now it's working, but it's not. It depends on the weather. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> but fortunately, we caught it at the moment uh, when it did act up. So as soon as they open the door, see, still now it's working. But that's that's like I said, it's not the case all the time. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I noticed the door lock, when you lock the car, it doesn't always lock the car. Somehow this morning it's working, but <coughs> that's also is not the case. So this lock here, when you lock the vehicle, it's now it's locked. It's unlocked, but that doesn't happen all the time. See now, here it is. See now, I unlock it. You see the passenger side open up and this is open but let me lock it see it's locked over there but here it's not locked it's still have room i have to push it by hand to go down okay this is also happening here i unlock it again i unlock it again and it still is doing it and you can see the passenger door is unlocked and this is it's not working so let me unlock it again see what it does so that's obviously an issue with the door lock actuator on the driver's side. So I'm going to replace it and uh, this should fix the problem. So we have to remove the, <coughs> the door panel to get to the door lock actuator right here. have to replace this one here. Um, it's easier just to remove this uh, door lock here. Again, it's one hand operation. Okay, let me, I'm gonna get remove, remove this. And you gotta remove this right here. I'm gonna pry this out. And there are two screws under here. And then you're gonna pry that door from, uh, from here. Anywhere, try just to get it off. And it's also good to remove this piece right here. Just a snub snaps off right this. Okay, that's the mirror uh, screws axis. This piece right here. Okay, let's get to so let's move this one first. Okay, this just comes off like this. This 
I have two screws right here. And there is uh, this cover here, there's one screw behind this. This piece right here. Yeah, I need a magnet to get this. Okay, yeah. now I'm gonna pry the door panel. Thinner, uh, Just uh, one point uh, worth mentioning is to also remove the door uh, master switch because of all these wires under here. Let's, uh, let's remove them. Master switches out makes things easier. Uh, also, I removed the cable behind it, but I'm gonna show you what I did. Because it was wasn't easy to do it while trying to control the camera. Okay, so this is uh, completely off. This one here it has a two uh, two locks plastic lock here. You just uh, with a small plier, just push it in so you can pull it out of the door handle. Okay. Wow, this is very sharp. Okay, let me get this one. Uh, I should put the window up, forgot to do that. There always something. <clears throat>
Okay, as you can see, there are three, three screws right here, Torx. You gotta remove this, and then there is the. Uh, this is for the door lock and unlock. This is hard to show you how to remove this. This is goes to the door handle. Um, so you just have to lift this little piece up here. You lift it up and then it comes off. Okay. This little plastic knob right here. You lift it, you push it this way, this way, and this comes off. Okay, let me just explain uh, quickly how I did remove this. It was not easy to put the camera inside so I could show you, but this is, uh, this little, this is, comes off like this. This is the doorknob right here. Uh, keep it on while you're removing it. And this is the door lock where you put the key. You just push this one out like this. Keep it on it. It's not going to be able, you're not going to be able to remove this unless you get this thing's whole thing out. So this one here is simple. As you can see here, it hangs on the doorknob or the key. So you just push it out like this. It snaps out. Okay, and this is comes out smooth smoothly down and then you uh, you take the plug off the plug as you can see here let me bring it closer the plug as it has a lock like this lock right here just to pry it with a screwdriver gently as soon as you get this off like this the whole harness comes off okay that's very much the way this is the Door handle. This is the one goes here. It goes right in here. Okay, the door handle. Also symbol. I'm gonna show you outside how it was installed. So this is goes in in here like this, as you can see. So I'm just gonna show you, this is easier to show you here, rather inside the door panel, the door itself. So you just bry these, you put them together like this, and you push it out. Okay, it comes off nice and easy. Once it's out, you just pull this cable, and that's it, this is loose. That's it. So, this is very much it. This is the piece I'm gonna replace. This is the new one. Okay, so that's the one I'm gonna install. Okay, I'm gonna reverse very much everything and uh, we'll test it. Okay, so this is the driver side <coughs> lock after I install everything back. Let's see, hopefully this is last couple of years is lock unlock lock unlock okay all right so that's it and uh, <coughs> ignition is on ignition is off Light is still on. This is still on. Can open the door. Okay. So now it works. This is apply very much to a lot of cars. This doesn't have to be GM. Most of cars work this way. Once you open the door, everything should shut off. Uh, specifically GM, they have this uh, for for many 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 year year make and models. <coughs> And also work like I said. This is the same uh, same thing on uh, on other cars, but uh, it doesn't hurt to check. So this is was the issue the door lock actuator. So this is fixed. <clears throat> Thank you for watching.